Hey guys, it's Scott. Um, I've got my June 5.4 Club box. Um, pretty sure it's my May box, but uh, according to 5.4, it's my June box. So, um, I actually had an issue with this. I um, will show you guys right here. Um, I got my order, and by the way, this is like the one year anniversary of me being subscribed to them. Um, and this is, I guess, how they thank me uh, when they send me my box. Um, so, as you guys know, they used to have a point system on the way that they did everything. Um, dress shirts and t-shirts were different points, jeans were different points, shoes, etc., all that stuff. They changed it completely just to make it simpler and say that they would send you over $120 worth of stuff each month. Um, pretty much, they've, they've stayed by that. Um, <clears throat> technically, two dress shirts equals out to $120 per month, but if you go to any other store and buy that quality of dress shirts, probably going to spend more about... Oh, fifty to sixty dollars for those two dress shirts. Just saying. But um, they claim that they sent one hundred twenty dollars worth of stuff. So this month they sent me one dress shirt and an undershirt, which comes out to thirty dollars. If you can't see that, I really apologize. But um, the key point is that um, even with tax and shipping, it still doesn't come out to their claimed one hundred twenty dollars worth of value. Um, so I emailed them about it, and they never got back to me. Uh, I emailed them as soon as I got the box, and it's been about five, I guess it'd be six days, but that's four business days. Uh, never heard a reply. So I called their 1-800 number today, I actually got a hold of somebody who um, was pretty helpful. They noticed the issue right off the bat. Um, as soon as I mentioned I had an issue with this order, she knew it was that it was under the $120. I don't know if that's because they already got an email from me and just never responded to it and were hoping that I'd just go away or maybe she actually saw that there was an issue with the order and uh, was able to pick that out. So anyways, regardless, she was helpful and um, she said that she was going to refinish my order and um, send me the rest of my box, I guess, is what it came out to. So um, I don't know what I'm going to get. Um, I'm guessing that it's another dress shirt because when I looked at the value of this box, it's like $158, um, which if you add it on to like the total price of this, that's about a dress shirt. So I'm guessing I'm going to get two dress shirts in this and then one undershirt. So might as well show you guys um, what I got. I also changed up my profile significantly. Significantly, um, The colors I changed, um, believe before it was gray, blue and, no, it was red as my primary, gray as my secondary, and I think it was black as my tertiary. But um, this one I changed to, I believe, blue is my primary, black is my secondary, and I think I put white as my tertiary. Um, but I also changed to give me a little bit of everything so I'm not fitting perfectly into one of those styles. I'm kind of getting, giving you guys an example of everything that they have to offer. Um, but anyways, still kept my size large and um, didn't really change too much about anything else on my profile. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. First off is a black t-shirt. Um, it's a black, I'm guessing un meant to be worn as an undershirt. I am glad that it doesn't have a print on it because I actually do need some black undershirts that I can wear. The um, nice part about it is, is that this is one of those products that is made in India from them. So um, it's, if you can even read that, but it says made in India, and it says it's Pima cotton. I have no idea what that is. Um, my only understanding of cotton is U.S. cotton and um, Egyptian cotton, Egyptian cotton obviously being the best, but I definitely noticed that the cotton in this is way better than the other shirts that I've gotten from them. Um, so this is a nice addition to have, um, but I will try this on for you guys in a second after I show you the other shirt. So I got a plain black dress shirt from them. Everything about the shirt is black, buttons are black, um, the top two buttons are stitched red which is a nice accent to have, um, but everything else, and there's the accent on the button for you guys right there, um, but we still got those buttons on the collar up here, and uh, still made in China. Um, so. There's really nothing too significant about this that's different than the other. Um, I did just notice that it has red stitching down here at the bottom. 
but um, the material is just the same crappy cotton that they use in their clothes already and um, also the collar due to mainly due to the buttons that are here the collar rides up um, when you wash it so basically you have to iron the collar down every time that you want to get ready to wear it which is bullshit but whatever um, it also gets pretty wrinkled no matter if you take it freshly out of the dryer just because of the crappiness of the cotton uh, but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and try these on I'll try actually both of them on um, separately but um, that way you guys can see both the quality um, but anyways like I said I've been a subscriber for one year so I'll also kinda give you my, my one year roll up in a second alright so here's the black undershirt um, like I said it's the nicer cotton so it actually feels very comfortable um, to wear. Uh, one thing I did not note is that it's got the 5-4 logo down here. Um, I do like it's, in my argument, I would say it's very tasteful. Um, just a very small, tight logo on the bottom. Um, doesn't detract if you're just to wear the shirt by itself. Um, granted, if you were it untucked, it might look a little trashy hanging out. But, um, I mean, it fits well. It's, uh, again, like all their shirts, I mean, a large normal shirt like this would probably be a little baggy on me, but their largest fit me pretty well. Uh, but anyways, um, I do like I do like this undershirt a lot, and I just wish they would stay with the manufacturer that's in India, because they obviously produce way higher quality clothes than their manufacturer in China. Um, the other nice thing, if you notice, it has like a tagless back. Um, I was afraid that maybe that'd be a little itchy or feel a little weird, but I mean, it feels like a tagless shirt to me. I'm going to go ahead and try on the dress shirt. Alright, so real quickly, since I'm trying on both things, I'm just going to show you guys, like, assuming that you're going to wear this um, unbuttoned, how horrible of a decision that would be. So, wearing this unbuttoned, they have some um, rigidity here with a different material than cotton, um, kind of just to make this part stay straight. But the other section, because it's such crappy quality cotton, starts to bunch up and it looks basically like you just pulled your dress shirt out of your laundry bin um, because it's just so fucked up up here um, but anyways I just wanted to show you guys that um, for those of you that like to wear your shirts regularly unbuttoned um, this one also doesn't have that ridiculous white logo at the bottom it just does have the 5-4 logo right here on the side which you're probably going to tuck in anyways, or it might be so subtle once you cover it up that you won't even notice. Alright, so here's the dress shirt buttoned up. Um, I actually really like it, I mean, with all the things that I've already mentioned, just with the crappiness of the cotton. But when it's buttoned up, I mean, it looks it looks pretty nice and presentable. Um, if I was to wear some jeans with this, um, this just would kind of all go together. Especially if I wanted to really black out and wear some black, the black 5-4 jeans actually that I have. Um, that would not be a bad combination. But um, I do really like just how it's very simple. I do like how the top button they decided to do red here because typically it's just this button that's red um, or just this one. Um, but it does just, just adds a little bit of color, especially down here at the side that it doesn't look like you're just wearing strictly all black, which if you're going for that, cool. But um, anyways, um, it fits good, not great. Um, still got a little tightness here in the back every once in a while. Uh, but whatever I've come to expect that from their clothes um, but I am very happy with this this is a lot better than like the white solid shirts that they've sent me because white shirts are typically supposed to look clean uh, nicely pressed and everything like that black shirts you can kinda get away with them being a little bit crumpled um, but anyways uh, this is the shirt um, but anyways my whole box obviously not worth my sixty dollars we'll see if I get another dress shirt and I like it as much as I like this one it's worth the sixty dollars to me especially I really do like the undershirt um, even though, yeah, the undershirt I could probably gotten for $10 and maybe got a three-pack, but argu arguably this cotton is better than maybe what I'm going to find in like a Hanes black undershirt. Anyways, um, so overall, as it stands right now, not worth my money, but if I get another item, which I will um, show you guys kind of a supplemental review of what I've got and then maybe an overall um, change of my assessment right now, not worth my money. Um, just for a quick run-through of um, overall, the last year. Um, when I first got 5.4 stuff I was very excited about um, a lot of the stuff they were sending me. Um, I was excited to try it on and change a lot of new different things because I wore the same thing forever. Um, basically kind of like a skater, rock, goth type mix between all three of those styles. 
Um, and obviously now that I'm older, I want to start dressing up a little bit more and it looked like 5-4 was going to give me that opportunity. Um, the issue sometimes is just that you're going to get dress shirts that, according to them, are worth $60, but you're not even going to touch because they don't match your style or they don't match what you want or they're just hideous um, or they're just bad quality and you don't want to wear them out. But um, overall, for one year, um, I am very happy that I subscribed to 5.4. It's gotten me to change a lot of the ways that I dress and given me a little few different new things to experiment with. Um, is it worth all the money that I invested into a year worth of clothes from 5.4? Not always. Um, I could have gotten Trunk Club and spent about that much money on it and have somebody done the same thing, but I would have ended up with an immensely less amount of clothes and I would argue that instead of it being my style and me choosing how I like to dress or how I want to use the items that they're being sent to me, it's somebody else having you tell you how to style your items and how to wear what you've got and picking out for you what you should wear. Um, I'm usually the type of person that if I don't buy into something, I'm not going to like it at all. Um, if you see my trunk clubs, you know that because I bought like one item for basically each trunk that I've gotten. But 5.4, um, overall, I'm glad that I got it and hopefully you guys can see a lot of the stuff that I got over the last year that maybe you were interested in, maybe you want to go out and try something like that. Um, that way you don't have to subscribe to the box and um, spend a lot of the money that I end up spending on it. Um, but for those of you who have seen all my boxes that I've gotten from 5.4, thank you very much for watching a whole entire year's worth of videos, which are really about 12 videos. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, also for those of you who commented on my last video, um, I will be shooting you guys a message and announcing the winner in my supplemental box review. Unfortunately, I didn't get a time to go through all your comments yet by shooting this video. I wanted to get this out in time so I could give you guys the feedback that the customer service gave, just so you guys can make an informed decision on subscribing to 5.4 or not, as well as a full yearly wrap-up of my thoughts on 5.4 over the last year. Um, as always, if you have any comments, suggestions, leave them below. Uh, if you like all, any of my videos, maybe this first one you've seen, please click subscribe and you'll get to see a lot more of my different boxes. I've got Carnivore Club. I actually just signed up for a Wet Shaving Club of the Month, which is pretty awesome. Um, Birch Box, Bespoke Post, and um, the Detail Box is one that uh, should be coming shortly. And uh, watching, if you have any suggestions on any boxes you would like me to review that you've been looking at, uh, just leave them in the comments below and I will look into them. Just as a heads up, I've gotten a lot of clothing um, services that I've looked into. One stipulation is I have to be able to send back stuff that I don't like just because with Spy 4 I have so much of their stuff right now that I'm really running out of closet space. So um, if you have any suggestions for anything you've been looking at, I will definitely try and check them out for you. Maybe if um, they don't allow you to send stuff back, I may ask for them to send me a box um, so that I don't have to pay money for clothes that I'm probably not going to wear or want to send back anyways. But at least so I can show you guys what is out there and what you guys can wear. Um, I will do my best to give an unbiased review if they do send me a box. As of yet, I haven't gotten one box that um, I haven't paid for with my own money. So hopefully, um, if I get a box that you guys are interested in, um, I can give you the same unbiased review. Again, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so as soon as I got done editing my uh, May box for 5.4, I ended up uh, calling their customer service <clears throat> and uh, they told me that they were going to send me something, if you remember earlier from the video. And uh, they said they were going to send me a replacement shipment, but it looks like they ended up sending me my June shipment early with one extra item. Um, so they put basically $145 of retail value in this box, so only $25 over um, the um, $120 they promised to spend or send you. The other box was... I believe it was $24. So basically, they just added one more item into here, um, which, whatever, uh, just to make it out, even out. Um, kind of a dumb policy and a dumb rule, but whatever, they run the company, I don't, and uh, I'm probably not going to be subscribing to them for very much longer. So they sent me three items. If you want to see, I don't know which one of the items they meant to fill the gap, but if you want to see the extra item they sent me in my box, uh, just watch the June video if you're already